Let's make a bevel gear. Cruise a primitive circle into the work plane and give it a radius of 20 millimeters. Then snap another one to its center and make it 10 millimeters. Extrude the larger circle up 10 millimeters and then taper it in minus 20 degrees. Extrude the smaller circle completely through the larger one. This is the bevel. Now cruise a primitive box to that bevel. and snap it to it like this so it has the same angle. This way we can sketch on it. We're going to scale it down first. Then click the polyline, click on the surface, and then sketch on it. You can use a spline too. And the neat thing here is now you can sketch perpendicular to that line. I'm snapping this rectangle to the end point, but you could sketch anything you want, any profile. Delete the cube and now sweep the profile along the line and you can see it's the same angle as the bevel. Snap the two pieces together. Now I want to move that tooth along the bevel parallel to it. So I'm going to reorient the move axis. Click Start Reorient. Type the angle you want, in this case minus 20. Click on the tooth. Click Stop Reorient and now drag the tooth down parallel to the bevel. Place it where you want and click to finish. Now I'm going to fine tune the tooth a bit by tweaking the bottom so that it's horizontal like the bottom of the bevel. Press pull it down and move it into the beveled part a bit. When the tooth looks as you want it to look, click on the circle pattern, click on axes, click on the circle, and then type or drag or arrow up for the number of teeth you want. It needs a cylinder inside now. So cruise a primitive circle to it. It'll snap to the center. and extrude it down. Cruise another smaller one. It will snap to the center. 
and I'm making this one 8 millimeters in radius and extrude it down. You can finesse the length of it by simply press pulling the bottom down. Now copy it so that we have two bevel gears. Just hit Control C and Control V, and that brings up the manipulator. You can drag off the copy to the side and rotate it so that these two gears can work together. And there you have it.